If you want to know the best war movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 1980s. <laughs> Shit, you see that fucking head come apart, man? We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Born on the 4th of July. Please, you gotta take your mom seriously. You can't okay, drink in this house. They told us. Go fight! Go kill! Born on the 4th of July is a 1989 biographical war drama film directed by Oliver Stone and stars Tom Cruise, Kyra Sedgwick, and Willem Dafoe. This one-of-a-kind experience offers a jaw-dropping story with an even more intense performance from Tom Cruise, deeply exploring the horrors and consequences of the Vietnam War. A small-town star athlete wants to help his country in Vietnam, but after a tragic accident finds himself in hell while being paralyzed from the chest up. We show women and children! You didn't shoot women and children! What are you saying? What said the war? Communism, the insidious evil. They, that's what they, they told, told us. us to go! Yes, that's what they told us! Thou shalt not kill mom. Thou shalt not kill women and children. Number 9. Good Morning Vietnam. Good Morning Vietnam! Hey, this is not a test. This is rock and roll! Good Morning Vietnam is a 1987 comedy drama war film directed by Barry Levinson and stars Robin Williams and Forrest Whitaker. This exceptional and unconventional Vietnam War movie explores the time of 1965 from the perspective of Adrian, who is taking the job at the soldier's radio station. In contrast to the dull speakers that preceded him, he is a fun canon who tries to bring humor into the dark times. He proves to be hugely popular with the troops, but infuriates his superiors with what they call his irreverent tendency. Get him out of there! Three men were unofficially wounded, and two men whose identities are still not known at this time were unofficially killed. Ah, the police, the ambulance, and fire department responded, but believed to be unofficial at this present moment. Number 8. Empire of the Sun. Empire of the Sun is a 1987 epic coming-of-age war film directed by Steven Spielberg and stars Christian Bale, John Malkovich, Miranda Richardson, and Nigel Havers. This underrated gem of iconic director Spielberg's filmography follows a spoiled young British boy living with his family in pre-World War II Shanghai. When meeting a soldier of fortune, he begins to learn the way of living without security and backup, giving him the chance to experience an exciting adventure, which will eventually save his life for good when hell breaks loose. Didn't I teach you anything? Yes! Yeah. You taught me that people will do anything for a potato. Three years with him. Number seven. Glory. See, the way I figure, I figured this war would be over a whole lot sooner if you boys just turn right on around and head on back down that way. Glory is a 1989 war film directed by Edward Zwick and stars Matthew Broderick, Denzel Washington, Carrie Elwes, and Morgan Freeman. This movie becomes a rare experience through its shining cinematography and a storytelling that searches its concurrence. Following a group of black Civil War soldiers who did everything they could for their country and who, despite the war being fought on their behalf, were denied any privilege or amenity due to their backgrounds. This is a movie that gets you craving for justice and a happy ending. The men dying up that road. And it wouldn't be nothing but ribs dying if they let the 54th in it. Listen! Oh, 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 and you were! And you were! Number 6. Kagemusha. Kagemusha is a 1980 historical drama film directed by Akira Kurosawa and stars Tatsuyo Nakarai. As the directors return to the masterclass of samurai epics, a movie ahead of its time emerges. We follow the tale of a mighty samurai warrior whose work is so effective that he is forced to demand double of himself. But when he suddenly dies, petty thief Kagemusha is spared from execution if he agrees to take over the role of the dead legend. Look, 
様も貼り付けになった覚悟で動くな Number five. Ran. Amoria's to send me quick. Only a nigger could not. Only a young man. Ran is a 1985 action drama film directed by Akira Kurosawa and stars Tatsuya Nakadia, Akira Terao, Jinpachi Nezu, and Daisuku Ryu. In this story of greed, power, and ultimate revenge, we get to see a heartbreaking period film. As well as an unbelievable experience of the horrors of war. As the Japanese warlord Hidetora Ichimonji hands over his empire to his three sons, he vastly underestimates how the newfound power will corrupt them, which results in a story of betrayal, honor, and the fundamental questions of life. <laughs> Number four. Platoon. That hole ain't gonna dig itself. Come on, boy, get your dick skin on that thing. Dig. We can get all day. Dig, dig. Platoon is a 1986 war film written and directed by Oliver Stone and stars Tom Berenger, Willem Dafoe, and Charlie Sheen. Based on Oliver Stone's experiences fighting in the Vietnam War, the film follows the journey of a neophyte soldier caught between two sergeants fighting for control over the platoon. Torn by the horrors of war and the casualties it inflicts in the forms of life and innocence, he discovers the duality in the nature of men and the moral dilemmas that arise in the face of survival. Now, I got no fight with any man who does what he's told. But when he don't, the machine breaks down. And when the machine breaks down, we break down. Number three The Boat. Maulhelden, nichts als Maulhelden. Alle sind. The Boat is a 1981 German war film written and directed by Wolfgang Petersen and stars Jorgen Prochnow, Herbert Gronemeyer, and Klaus Wenemann. This deeply tragic yet impactful true story follows German submarine soldiers in 1942 on their mission to destroy the English escorts in World War II. It is examining how these submariners maintain their professionalism as soldiers while facing their inner selves, questioning the situation they're in and the ideology of the government they serve under. Na los. Notieren Sie das. Nehmen Sie das auf in Ihr Heldenepos. Die Propaganda Company wird sich freuen. Number two. Grave of the Fireflies. I'll never ever leave you again. Never ever. I promise. Grave of the Fireflies is a 1988 Japanese animated war tragedy film written and directed by Isao Takahata. Grave of the Fireflies is not only a tragic story, it is fundamentally heart shattering. We follow Saita and Setsuko, two young Japanese siblings living in the declining days of World War II. After an American firebombing, the two siblings are separated from their parents, and we witness how they must rely completely on one another while they struggle to fight for their survival during the final months of the war. Help her! Give her medicine. All this child needs is some food. She needs food. How can I help you? Well, Where am I supposed to get food? Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Я, у меня 60 патронов. Граната, винтовка самозарадная. Я воевать сюда пришёл, а вы меня за придурка держите. Kasach, Kasach, Yanya Kasach, Tishtach, Morella! Oh, I told everybody. I told them you don't have to worry. You don't have to try and kill me, man. I told them. And they don't care! Number one Full Metal Jacket. I admire your honesty. Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. <laughs> Full Metal Jacket is a 1987 war film directed by Stanley Kubrick and stars Matthew Modine, R. Lee Ermey, Vincent D'Onofrio, and Adam Baldwin. 
The term full metal jacket is used for rifle bullets encased with a hard shell that prevent it from breaking. This is why master director Kubrick called his visionary depiction of the Vietnam War exactly that. A story of soldiers trained to later survive in Vietnam shows what it takes to completely break a human being and what one must do to retain his humanity. You will not laugh. You will not cry. You will learn by the numbers. I will teach you. Now get up. Get on your feet. You had best unfuck yourself or I will unscrew your head and check down your neck. Sir, yes, sir. Private Joker, why did you join my beloved corps? Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.